We easily empathize with characters that are like us, and even more easily with characters that we wish we were like, usually confident, sexy, successful people. Pixar got us to empathize with a mute robot, a rat, monsters, and many other unusual characters. How do they do it? Wally is a lone robot doing a specific garbage disposal job. We connect with Wally early on through two major aspects of his personality. First, he has a friend. He likes and looks after a small cockroach. We really connect with Wally when he sees Hello Dolly and we learn what he wants. This is a great example of empathy. Wally empathizes with fictional characters falling in love and wishes to feel love too. We empathize with Wally's desire. Desire is the key to creating empathy. We automatically relate to characters trying to get something because we want to get something too. We can even empathize with evil characters if they have a relatable motive. In The Incredibles, we may not approve of Syndrome's actions or even like him very much, but we can empathize with him. We all at some time felt excluded from some elite group and wished to rise above them. You're not affiliated with me! So desire and reason behind it creates empathy. What about success? We all want to be successful, but most of us always think of ourselves as the underdog. So we want characters to have moments of success, but mostly we want to see them try. To try and fight as hard as they can. To find love, to make friends, to fulfill their dreams, to figure out and accept who they are. There are tricks to make characters likable, make them attractive, funny, and talented, but that's not empathy. Empathy is the feeling that you understand and share another person's experience and emotions, or basically the ability to share someone else's feelings. This is what makes enjoying a story possible, understanding the character's motives and emotions. Up's heartbreaking opening hinges on our ability to share the connection between Carl and Ellie and their unfulfilled passion for adventure. This deep commitment propels Carl's tenacious quest to Paradise Falls. Without this empathy, we'd stare indifferently at Up, perhaps commenting on their color palette. In order to make anyone care about your characters and their quests, you have to get your audience to empathize with them. Alright, so empathy equals desire plus motive plus action. We can understand a character that wants something, from a human emotional reason, and who acts on it. Just like us. Alright guys, thanks for watching. In the next episode of Pixar Storytelling Rules, we're going to talk about drama and conflict. Don't forget to subscribe and visit our website at bloopanimation.com.